Take the problem, I'm given two equations, 3 over g plus 6 equals k, and k equals 6 over g, and the question is asking me to solve for the value of g. Um, nothing too crazy happened here. It tells me the value of k is, right? It tells me that k is 6 over g. So see that k right there? Instead of that k, I'll just replace that with 6 over g, and then I should be able to solve for g on this end, right? So let's get, let's get to it. So 3 over g plus 6 equals... 6 over g. All I've done is replace that k with a 6 over g. Now I just have one variable g on this side and I should be able to solve for it. So let's see, what's the first thing that I want to do here? Um, let's combine our like terms and our like terms are variables. This kind of looks a little scary because you have the 3 over g, the fractions, but really not, not, not nothing too bad. Um, let's bring this over to this side. And if I bring it to this side, I have to subtract it, right? So over here I'll have 6 equals 6 over g minus 3 over g. Remember, all I've done so far is just brought this to the other side, not nuts. And then from here, let's bring it up here. Um, I'm just going to rewrite this over here too. 6 equals 6 over g minus 3 over g. Now think about how we subtract our fractions. If I have the same denominator, a common denominator, I can just subtract my numerators. So over here, this will just become 6 minus 3, which is 3, so 3 over g. So if I have a common denominator, like for example, let's take it over 5, 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. Since I have the same denominator, I can just leave the denominator the same, and I'll just subtract my numerator. So this one, 3 minus 1 is 2. That's exactly what I did over here. 6 minus 3 is just 3, and since the denominator is g, that'll just stay. So I have 6 equals 3 over g. Now, um, let's multiply both sides by g. This side by g, and this side by g. So this g cancels that g out. And over here, I'll have 6g equals 3. And to solve for g, I'll just divide both sides by 6. g will equal 3 over 6, or 1 half. So that's my answer, 1 half. That's all. All I did was replace that k right there with 6 over g, and then combine my like terms, and slowly just got to my final answer of g. So from here, we went there. From here, we went here. And from here, we went here. Alright, that's fun drawing those arrows. Uh, G equals one half.